by someone <laughs> right okay so okay. we'll do the same again we'll say split progress on unity first and then we'll move down the line. Gregor uh, you've had consistency of selection the last few weeks but a good few changes uh, for Italy what's the thinking there partly um, because of who we're playing against and uh, what we believe um the challenges they present and things that we were looking to do in our, our game plan and uh, the players are suited to do that. Uh, obviously Tommy coming back from injury is, is a boost for us. He was he would have been selected in the wing last week. The availability of, of quality players. Uh, Richard Gray now has had played two games so he comes onto the, to the bench and played well for the weekend for Toulouse. Xander has trained for, for three weeks with us, match fit, um, so we believe it's the right time for, to bring those players back in. And also a management of energy, uh, probably in the case of Stuart McAnally. He's been outstanding for Scotland this, this Six Nations and we believe this week um, we can make really good use of, of the bench uh, and we are obviously very confident that, that Fraser, what he's shown for us in training and, and, and last week's game, he can make a, good, a really good job at the beginning of the game. Was there ever, ever any thought to retain Blair Kinghorn after what was a pretty decent debut uh, last weekend? Yeah, especially on Monday when uh, we just presumed Tommy wouldn't be fit because um, he obviously didn't make last weekend. Uh, Tommy trained really well yesterday and today, so uh, Tommy, Tommy's an excellent player. He was in very good form um, before his injury, very experienced player for us. Uh, so to to have him back in the, in the squad is excellent, but with the knowledge that Blair has done really well now in two games one off the bench one starting it gives us um, confidence uh, to know that the bench can make a big impact we're really excited about the, the bench this week the, the pace the energy they'll bring uh, so we've got to make sure that, that these players are, are used this weekend obviously we know now the championship's going for you how big a game is this then how, how much of a difference does three wins or two wins make to how you'll, you'll view this campaign well, it will make things a lot better. Uh, if, if we were to lose a game, we'd be pretty disappointed given the efforts we put, put into the Championship. Uh, to lose two games in a row would be disappointing. To lose your last game, it's, it's never enjoyable um, because it's a, a few weeks and months before you get the, the squad back. Uh, and, I, and I think it would it would be progress. It would show that the, the players have, have learned um, from what's going on in the Championship if we were to get a win. Uh, because we know this will be a tough game. Italy are also looking at, at winning. Uh, they're playing at home and they've showed signs in parts of the game they can be very good uh, and we know they'll play with commitment. They'll play um, a brand of rugby that stretches us because they, they move the ball wide uh, and they've got some very good individuals. Three wins last year, you can obviously pick up a third uh, this weekend this year is that now the, the sort of benchmark for, for, for Scotland going forward to, uh, a bare minimum if you, if you want to put it that way uh, look, I, I don't know it's probably for you guys to, to, to write we, we, we want to go into every game um, preparing to win and work, working out how to win uh, we've not done that in two games uh, this season so uh, we're going to make sure we do it on Saturday you always get the World Cup coming up next year what sort of point does your focus turn towards uh, starting to prepare for that and, and get the team ready for, for those sort of things hey, look it's in the back of our minds we uh, we, we obviously have, have brought two players in have not um, featured for us this, this season in, in Xander and Richie and th- those those are two players that have been key for Scotland in the past in the recent past and, and will be key for Scotland in the future so we, we do have an eye on on involving these players if we believe they're back in form and full fitness um, to look ahead to summer to look ahead to next season but also obviously the World Cup um, less than 18 months away Is the injury factor been something that's been a frustration for you I mean, perhaps I mean, as much as it was all talked about the, the sort of beginning of the tournament the injuries in the front row but do you think that that's been a, you've not been able to perhaps look at the, the full dimensions you would have you liked to have played with this, this season? Well in, injuries have certainly improved I think uh, 
if, if you look at our, our squad availability in November compared to now, it's it's a much better situation. And it's unusual for that to be the case. Normally, you, you pick up more injuries during um, a run of test matches. So it's a, it's a credit to our medical staff and the medical staff, the, the, the clubs of these players. So we, we've got more players available than any other time uh, since we, we've been here as a coaching group. And I believe it's the most experienced squad we've put together. There's still a couple of guys um, that I've trained with us. I'm obviously not full fitness yet, and Alex Dunbar and uh, Duncan Taylor, but it's a really good situation to be able to call on someone like Richie Gray, someone like VP now, who, who weren't available for November and for the beginning of the Six Nations. Greg, on the, on the prospect of week one last year, seen two records. Is it still, are Scotland still on an upward curve, you know, regardless of whether you're looking at a similar result to, to last year? Do you believe that they're still moving forward and, and, and becoming a better team? Yes, uh, you've, got, you've got to look at games in between Six Nations as well and, and what the, the, the team has done since last Six Nations. We, we've got to show more consistency, that's that's for sure. Uh, but there have been some excellent performances um, over the last <clears throat> two years, not, not just the last um, few months. But we will see how how this progress is going after the weekend because we've, we've got a big challenge ahead of us and we want to make sure that we we play better than we did against Ireland and we, we come away with a win. Would you like to, would you like to make this game like a, a, bit of a showcase for, the, for them, the way that they play rugby under, under you uh, after it being questioned at the start whether you know, being so expansive was, was going to pay off and stick into your guns? Would you like going with Italy and just going to show like this very much is who we are? Well, we certainly want to give a, a picture of who we are, and but a lot of that is maybe not on the things you mentioned. Uh, it's on our work in the opposition. It's showing effort off the ball. It's it's defending and making life hard for the opposition attack. Um, it's about manipulating defence so you create opportunities, uh, and that can be done in more than one way. And as we're taking them, we we know that. The Italian defence is very different to Ireland and, and Wales defence, <coughs> uh, um, England's defences. It's going to be wet. We're here in Rome, so there's, there's going to be a different way of um, playing in wet conditions. Uh, and also in Italy, uh, play to their strengths, which will be around the set piece, but at times moving the ball wide um, the way the corner wants to play. So you've got to adapt and, and make sure that you, you have a game that wins your you play a game that wins the, the game at the end of the day. Okay, thanks. Let's move on to the team.